Hello everyone, welcome, welcome to my craft room and to my YouTube channel. I'm popping by with my new release that I'm really excited about. It's, we've got four stamps and three stencils. And as always, I'm going to go through the ideas behind them, discuss why we've released uh, these stamps and also um, look at the artwork I've created. I've created a workshop, so I'm going to go through all those details. So what I'm going to do first is go through my snippet stencils. Oh, I need an ink pad while I just remember. It's actually Thursday evening here. Let's just move that light so it doesn't shine onto the packaging. So it's Thursday evening when I'm recording this. It's the first chance I've had all day to actually sit down and record the video because I've been creating and I've had meetings, etc. So I do apologise that I'm recording it in the evening. It is better if you can record during the day, but there you go. So what do we need? We need a little bit of a wine. So what I'm going to do is talk about the snippet stencils. So let's bring out the snippet stencils. So let's get them all in order. There's my little hair. So your number two, number one, number three. And I'm just going to sling them all over the floor like you do. Right, let's grab the beard, the little mouse. Right, what we've got is three snippet stencils. So let's take a look at the bird. You can see this one is well used. Now the snippet stencils are four inches by four inches. And the idea behind these is that one, they're portable. So if you're going away on a little break, but your husband, I don't know, goes to the football or whatever, you can take these stencils with you. You can even punch a little hole in there and put them on a book ring and you can take them away with you. They're also big enough for journal pages and cards. However, they're perfect for my, for my quadrilaterals workshop, which is all about four inch square pieces. So that's the quadrilaterals workshop and it works beautifully with that. And also for our snippets. And yes, I could quite easily have put this on an eight by eight, eight, by eight inch stencil and then filled it with other things. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted smaller stencils that are, that are quite a nice price, $4.99. They retail at $4.99. And I thought that's quite a nice price. If you want to just treat yourself and all you can afford is a stencil, then $4.99 is quite a good price. But also, the, when you see the designs I've created, I have adored using these because there's nothing else in the way on the stencil, just this. And it means I can use it and it's just perfect. It's perfect, it's portable, it's wonderful. But also the thing I love is that you get the cutout piece, which you can't see because I should get black card. Bear with me. You see, this is what happens when you get a professional doing a job. Right, so if I get a piece of black card and I place this on here and I bring in the stencil. Oh, I can't pick it up. You can see you've got the aperture, but then you can use this to either draw in with a pen the detail, if you wish, or it just gives you an idea of where maybe to put some white highlights. But also... You can then use these cutout bits on your gel press. So I wanted the cutout bits. So you can use them on your gel press. Or you can place them on your card and spray over them. And then you'll have the, the uh, aperture area as well. Because once you lift it, the bird will be visible on your card. So I wanted both of those so that you get a twofer. That was important to me. I love the size because, it, like I said, there's nothing else in my way. Let's just bring this in. Now, on here, oh, black card, Tracy. On here, you will see it says Tracy Evans Snippet Stencil SS1 Tweet. And the idea is that that way, if you lose your packaging, you can keep a track. Now, what you need to do, let's grab one that we haven't got. I haven't done this one. So this is the mouse one, and I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to take my Nocturne ink, 
just wipe my Nocturne ink across the top of the stencil. So just take the Nocturne ink across the top of the stencil. Just wipe off the excess. You can do it a couple of times and then it's more visible. So just go over again and dip your finger in the ink pad like I've just done. Go over again. And if you don't want to use the wipe, I'm showing you both ways because then some of you don't like your stencils in a mess. So just use a wipe just to wipe that off. If like me, you're not too bothered, just take off the excess with your kitchen roll. Just wipe that up. Just take off the excess with the kitchen roll and then, then wipe. And then I've got some um, texture paste on there as well that's just, but you can then see your Snippet Stencil SS number on there. And this one says mouse, which I haven't even covered the word mouse. So if I just do that and just wipe off the excess, it's then got the word mouse on there. It's very dark in my room, but when you do them, when you do them all, let me see if I can show you them all, you'll be able to see that it says hair, it says tweet and it says mouse just so that you can see there. So Tracy Evans, Snippet Stencil, SS1, SS2 and SS3. I want you to enjoy your creating. And that's why I bought these. I will be bringing out eventually. I know some people love their eight inch by eight inch stencils, but I didn't want these kind of the bird, the hair, I want to be able to bring out more snippet stencils where I can just bring out a little design like this. It's four ninety nine, but it extends our collection. So my first collection, New Beginnings, these will now extend that New Beginnings collection. So even if you haven't bought the New Beginnings collection yet, they'll work together and we'll be using them both in lots of the workshops. So they work beautifully together. So SS1 is Tweet, which it says on your packaging that the cutout is included and it's SS1 and it's called Tweet. So the Snippet Stencil Tweet is actually on your actual stencil so that you can see that. And you've actually got your little cutout bird. The other advantage is you can have one bird going that way and one bird going the opposite way. Same with that, one bird going that way and one bird going that way. So the possibilities are just wonderful. So there's your little bird. And then we've got SS2, which is our hair. Now, this bird, let's grab my stamp set. There's always so much to remember to tell you. This bird coordinates with these birds as well. So you can use those birds with that. So this stencil extends your stamps and makes them even more appealing and gives them even more possibilities. So those two birds work with this. So do all your florals. So let's just... There we go. Then we've got our hair, which is... TE Snippet Stencil SS2, and that's the hair. So you've got your hair and your hair cutout piece. So if we bring those on here, you've got the hair cutout piece and your hair. Now these, this hair will also work with my miniatures and my hair stamp set that I did with All and Create. Now All and Create will discontinue my stamps with me going alone now under my own name. But what will happen is, once that stamps is discontinued, I will reinvent it and update it somehow. So this stencil will then work with that, but I will show you that this hair works with the new florals as well. And I have adored these little snippet stencils. 
so that's the hair so let's place the hair just there and then we've got the lovely mouse which I adore and this works with my little mouse stamp that also came out with All and Create again which will be discontinued but I will bring out in a new format under my branding and changing a little bit so the mouse works beautifully with the florals but again stand alone as a background or on its own as a focal image so they work beautifully together now the idea is, if you can only afford the stencils, all these stencils work together. They work individually, so you've got a focal image, a focal image, a focal image. You can remove them, separate them, and you can create backgrounds. So that could become your background element, and this can become your focal image. So these alone, if you can't afford the stamps, will work beautifully together on their own. So those four inches by four inches stencils are $4.99 for retail. Now, the idea is they are snippet stencils. They're not to be meant to be like the huge eight by eight stencils or the six by six. I want to be seen to try and be a little bit different if I can. Now, the idea is here as well. You've got this open space here. So you can then stencil within a stencil. So if you then take your other stencils, you can add colour to this and place another stencil and add colour to that, a stencil within a stencil, which I will show you at the end when perhaps we'll do a couple of little things to show you. So we'll just take our snippet stencils, try and let's just, I have to just have them all separately like this. I keep them all in a little wallet together. So what I do is... I've got the packaging. I can keep them in the little wallets, keep the little stencils together, or you can put them on a book ring, and then I can put the cut out pieces just in there as well. And then I've got the little wallet that contains those little snippet stencils, and you can add quite a few of them to an A6 wallet. I've got that much gunk over everything. So, what I'm going to do then is bring in my stamps and what I've do, done is I've stamped them all out ready so first of all we've got I haven't got my tape measure the famous tape measure let's grab the famous tape measure and I'm very relaxed about doing these videos I'm not very formal for me it's yes it's a business it's how I earn my living but I'm also very informal about it all so the A7 stamp set, Take Flight, is TE9. And it's this key with the Take Flight in and the clocks and the background. And the idea is it's got the wings on. You can separate the wings and use the wings separately. You can cut the clock out. That isn't a clock, Tracy, that's a key. You can cut the key out separately if you wish and it works beautiful with the florals with my clock ephemera with butterflies it works with so many things but this is completely new take flight te9 now let's have a look at that when it's stamped i've stamped that on my card just so that you can see that and it just works beautifully it works absolutely beautifully and i love the detail in there it's just wonderful it really is just a wonderful stamp and you can cut out the wings you can cut out the clock you can cut out the key or you can just keep it as a background you can use little bits of the text on its own and i always like a few a7 stamp sets because they do extend the possibilities of all the other stamps as well. So I love having that extendability. I've got all the images stamped out, so I will measure those at the end for you. So that's the plastic. So let's make sure the plastic's on top of the stamp. We've then got some A6 stamps. We've got three A6 stamps. We've got TE7, TE8 and TE9. And we'll go through those individually. So first of all, I've got the Abutilon. So this 
is the abutilon and this is a generic flower. So this is the abutilon. I love abutilons. I've got them in pink. You can get them in purple. Just I just colour them whatever you want. Get them in oranges, lemons. But it's just a beautiful flower. And I love the fact that it's a good size. And we've got a smaller one here that can extend the detail if you wish. Now, I'm going to be sharing loads of videos like I always do and lots of inspiration so that you're not stuck for ideas. We've got the two florals, the two florals. We've got the word abutilon. We've got the word nodding flowers and sending hugs. So if I bring this out, I've got it stamped. So I think it's better to look at it stamped. You can see that stamped beautifully just so you can see the detail in the florals and how they work. Just gorgeous florals, gorgeous, a lovely size as well. And the A6 stamps are 11 99 but just work absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm trying to be mindful that I know this is a hobby. I know this is the way I earn my living, but I'm trying to be mindful of costs. So I'm trying to keep bundles so they're not expensive and they don't go to like hundreds of pounds. So I'm trying to keep it so that, you know, you can afford maybe some of you can afford a bundle in the workshop. Some of you can afford one stamp. Some of you can afford one stencil so that it's it's available to everybody and nobody is excluded. So that is TE7. So I'm then going to go to TE8 and we'll do all the measurements later. And this is called Malva. This is a Malva or Mallow. Let's bring, I don't even need to take it out because I've got it all stamped up. I stamped that twice, but there's ju it's just the one image. I stamped it twice because I was so chuffed with it. That's me all over. So you've got the, this sort of circular backgroundy piece that's not completely finished. It's like a, a wreath, not completely finished. It's got the word garden in there that you can cut up. It's got the mallow, the malva, and then it's got the background stamp that's got the wording on there so that you can use that as a background stamp. And when you see the samples, this is beautiful coloured. And then you've got a little floral that you can also create a background with but also can be used within the foreground. But just, I just adore this as well and how they coordinate together. So that is TE7 and TE8. So we've got Abutilon and Malva. Now TE10 has a story behind it. All in Create... This was my first stamp set with All and Create. I was with them almost eight years, and this was the first stamp set that came out, uh, Hash Number no. Six. I don't think it had a name then because we didn't do names. And then it was discontinued, and it's been discontinued for many years. And lots of requests asking me to bring it back because new customers haven't seen it. Because some of you have only found me a couple of years ago, so I've never seen this stamp set. So what I've done is I've changed it. How have I changed it? One, I've bought the font up to date. So it's not the font that was before. It's my normal sort of typewriter font. These two birds are the same, but I've added a few little details. This bird is different. This bird has got some background on there that's from my father-in-law's um, computer, computer software writing days when he used to write computer software systems so I've just sort of got some of his numbers and coding in the background I've also to make it more cohesive because with it being my first stamp you learn from that to make it a little bit more cohesive I've taken one of the hearts from here and added, added it as a separate stamp so that you can create a background and I've got these little hearts here that can also be used on their own and perfect for Christmas as well so they work beautifully and these birds will work all the way through the seasons. So let's have a look at the way they stamp. And now Tracy can't get this back in because she's just hitting the plastic every time. That's it. 
So I put these in an A6 wallet and just turn over the bottom slightly and then they fit in beautiful. So we've got three A6 and one A7. Now what I also do before I start any work is I cut some masks of everything. So I've got a mask of the stencil in paper because it's sometimes important to be in paper. Um, whereas I've got the butylon in paper. I create some masks out of paper. If you've got your masking sheets, then you can use your masking sheets. I've just cut these out of copy of paper. And then what I do is I add them to an A6 wallet before I even start any stamping then I've got them all there ready so then we sort of organize before we even start so let's take some measurements so first of all let's have a look at the key so the key is these are approximate so about two and three from there to there two and three quarter inches but you've obviously got this text as well that goes slightly higher. So two and three quarter inches. And the take flight stamp set is separate. So you've then got that take flight, which will then coordinate with the birds as well. We've then got the Malva, which let's measure it sort of in width ways. In width ways, it's around about two and a half inches really good size from there to there about two and a half inches so a really good size the literal the little wreathy kind of thing is about two and a half inches in width and two and a quarter inches top to bottom so again really good size images and even the little tiny one is an inch so not too tiny We've then got our butylon, so from top to bottom, that's just over two and a half inches. So that's a really good size, two and a half inches. And in width, two inches. The generic floral is about two to two and a quarter inches in width and top to bottom, two and a half inches. The smaller floral is an inch and then you've got, I love this, I love this little abutilon image on its own with the little bud. Love that. Still got to use that. And you can attach, oh, and you can attach that to this here. I've then got the lovely birds, which top to bottom are about just under two and a quarter inches, each one of them. Just a lovely, lovely size. We've then got the heart that is about an inch. A really good size. And I've got the little hearts. I love these little hearts. But imagine this. This heart and these creating a background. Just gorgeous. And what I find with stamps is when I start using them, I create samples to inspire you to use them. But then when, it, when the first five days have passed by i start building a rhythm of more and more ideas and then i produce more and more videos and i just love stamps in the bird stamp set you've got fearless take risks and the take risks are two separate stamps i mixed it up a little bit so you've got the take and the risks separately so you can either put it together or one underneath another or create backgrounds with it so i kept that separate Dare to be different, tweet and imagine. And they all work with the four stamp sets. And I just think those are lovely. Right. Shall we take a look at some samples? Because I think that speaks the loudest. Now, I've done a workshop. It's called A Little Bit of This and A Little Bit of That. And it's workshop 107. And on the website, there will be a bundle of stamps and or you can buy a bundle with the workshop or you can buy singles. And I've bought loads of stock. So let me just find the little journal page. This is within the workshop. And this is one of the samples with the bird snippet stencil. And you can see the little key background stamp set 
in the background as well. So that's one sample with the little bird stencil, which I just adore. And I always think, you know, samples really, that's what speaks to me, samples. I don't know what you're like, but when I was first starting out, it was samples that sort of spoke to me and inspired me to create. So we've now got these cards here and all these cards and that journal page are in the workshop. And I've still probably got a couple more to add, but these are all in the workshop, workshop 107, which will be on the website. So let's have a look at some samples. This is the Malvi and my little beard. I absolutely adore that floral. I mean, I know they're my designs, but I just think that is gorgeous. I think that is lovely. Just, I love it. I love the background. I love the colours. I love them. I just think they work beautifully together. And these are all in the workshop. Then I created a little bit of a vintage one because sometimes I've been doing a lot of coloured uh, designs lately. Well, what if you don't like colours? Well, I've done a vintage one. And you can see here, let me just grab, I've used the chevrons from the branched heart. And these little hearts are going to work with the heart from the birds that I've, I'm releasing this time. So they all work together beautifully. I just adore these chevrons. Let me just push these stamps. I've got that many things. There we go. Just so you can see the stamp set and just how it works and works together. Again, that is in the workshop. Then our next sample, also in the workshop, uses the hair. So we've got our lovely hair there. So when this, I will be um, posting this video Friday morning, the 1st of March. And on Friday, the 1st of March at 5pm, these items will be launched on my website or they'll be with your stockists. But just so that you can see the detail, just in there. And this is also in the workshop. I just adore that sample. I just love it. And I always think that videos are far better because you can really sort of see the detail and it's so textural. Just love that. So there's our third sample, 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 sample. And then we've got one with the abutilon, just so that you can see that. Let's, this here is the text from the key stamp, just so that you can see. I, these stencils are just fantastic. You can see there, how the stencils can work standalone. So I may say the stencil's four inches by four inches and I've called it a snippet stencil because it's a snippet of a stencil and it goes with my snippets perfectly. And, but it's a really good size for a focal image all in its own right. So let's just place that with our collection. We've then got our lovely little mouse and the generic floral as well just so you can see i love the mouse he is just so lovely just so that you can see the detail i do think seeing samples in the flesh it's all textural i just think that seeing the samples in the flesh like this or in video is far better but these are just a good size, the perfect size, I think. And then we've got the bird stencil again, and this is all in the workshop. Can you see those chevrons again from the branched heart? 
and the chevrons again from the branched heart and the key background from the A7 stamp set. And just so you can see this, there's no cut out apart from the sentiments. This isn't cut out. Only these sentiments are cut out. The rest is flat, but not so flat that that's got texture. So I just think that is just absolutely lovely. Really inspires me. And I'll be doing more of these snippet stencils. Absolutely, definitely. So then I've got the little hair. Again, a fantastic size. Can be used with florals. Can be used a standalone. Could be used for Easter. Can be used any time of the year for nature. And can you see that key background and how it works beautifully together? The key background is just lovely. Again, if we just tilt this on the side, the sentiment is cut out and the wings are cut out. This isn't cut out. But it's very textural, just so you can hear that. It is very textural. I loved making these samples. It takes me a long time, but I've loved making them. But what if you like something a little bit more pared back? Well, here you go. Here's something a little bit more pared back. Just so that you can see that. Just something a little more pared back for you. Just love that. A little bit of the touch of the clock from the A7 stamp set but something a little bit more paired back. And then let's have a little wow of colour. The birds, again, you can just see that gold on there. Without trying to give you a glare is very difficult, but just so that you can see the gold on there and that stunning abutilon. I've not eaten. I've not even touched the surface with the stamps. Just so that you can see. Just love that. And that is on the workshop. And then finally, another card. Just so that you can just see the detail. Just on there. It's very difficult sometimes to try and capture certain details, but I'll just try and do my best to just capture what I can, just so that you can see all the details on there. And this is textural as well just so you can you can see that that is textural as well and so is that just so that you can see those and then i think that is the last sample but what we're going to do is let's bring in the cards let's just place these back into my container and then we're just going to bring the snippet stencils in so let me just bring my cards in. And these all work beautifully with your previous releases. They just work wonderfully with the previous release. And the reason I bought this release out is I wanted a little bit more choice on my website because you go through a funny stage when you first start a business off because you've got a few products on there, but not enough sometimes for people to, to keep coming back. So you need a little bit more product on there to give a little bit more interest. You know, when you've been going for several years, you don't have to worry because you've got so much product on there that new customers keep coming back and visiting your site. So that was another reason I also need to add a little bit more product. Also, I need your help a little bit. If you can share this video, 
that will help a great deal because there are still people who don't realise that I'm now going alone and that I've got my own website and that I'm selling my stamps from my own website. So still a lot of people don't realise. So if you don't mind sharing the video, that would be much appreciated. So how about we have a little play? So let's grab some paper. Let's grab... So this wasn't, this wasn't planned, but isn't that me all over? So what I've got is I've got some pieces of card, but I think I'm going to cut some. We'll even do that live, bear with me. So let's just cut some card because it's worth just showing a few little things. So I'm going to grab my cutter now, which is going to be a wonderful photograph or image, not photograph, it's going to be a wonderful image on the video, but hey ho. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut some card, which I'm telling you now, because my cutter is probably 20 odd years old sometimes it's difficult to see some of the measurements so I'm just cutting some strips of card four inches by six inches well I'm hoping they're four inches by six inches nobody knows by the time with the light and everything So let's cut them four by six. There we go. And the reason I offer so much inspiration is I want you to use your product. I also want to show how versatile stamps are and just how much they offer. And really, a lot of frustrations are from not giving enough information about some of the basics when stamping and also using the correct products that doesn't mean you have to buy hundreds of products it just means you need to use the correct products right so what we're going to do we will now get a little old credit card So I'm just going to get some sort of re-ink colours. Um, so we'll get them. So what I'm doing is I'm getting some full-on colour ones and just more subtle colours. There we go. So some more sort of subtle colours. Right, let's have a little bit of fun. Right. So what I want to show you is how you can just create something very simple and why I designed the snippet stencils. So let's take the snippet stencil, let's take the uh, little bird. I will take our bird snippet stencil. I'm just going to use this as my little palette. Now I'm going to use some shaving foam because it's just a fun technique. Now, normally when you use shaving foam, I mean, I've had this shaving foam when I used to demo at shows, so I've had it years. But when you use shaving foam, normally you'll put it in some aluminium foil or you will use a baking tray with some greaseproof paper or anything that can sort of house that shaving foam. But if you don't want to get in too much of a mess, say, and 
you don't want to bring everything out or you've only got a small area of space well just use a small piece of card so I'm going to just give my shaving foam a shake and I know what I haven't got I haven't got something to stir the I've got a little neat do you know a little pointy tool or a little oh a um, little paintbrush will do I like something a bit finer bear with me um, whatever that is it will do we'll see what we can do so I'm just going to add, because I only want to work on small scale. Just going to use that much shaving foam. So what I'm doing is, I'm trying to break down some barriers. Because I've been told a lot of things during my time, being creative. Um, which is almost 30 years of being a stamper. And all of it is just lack of information or education. Nothing creative is difficult. I am not, um, I've not been sort of to any colleges or anything um, educational wise or artistic wise. You know, I'm not a fine artist, but I love what I do. And it brings me lots of pleasure. And that's what I want to portray to you of how simple it is. So we've got our four by six inch pieces of card just on the side. I've got a little credit card. And what I'm going to do is take some reinkers. So let's do a full on colour one. Now, some of my reink, I need to put my fingers in that then. Some of my reinkers are in a mess, mainly because. When I did classes, they just got in a mess. That's that's all it is, really. They just got in a total mess because, you know, hundreds of people have used them. It is what it is. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of these colours. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. Colours would help, Tracy. Colours, colours. This is fossilised amber. I'm going to take a little bit of pink, give that a little bit of a shake because it's a distress oxide. So a little bit of the pink. Probably don't even need that much, to be honest. Then we'll have a little bit of the, so that was picked raspberry, twisted citron. And I can see, look, it, my bottles are in a right mess because it's from the lids when I used to do workshops and you don't want to be shaking these up and down but unfortunately they were shaken up and down so then I'm going to take um, a tiny little bit of the purple there we go not too much and maybe a little bit of the red Just a little, do I want, oh, go on, let's have a little bit of red. There we go. So I'm then going to use, actually I might use just a bit of the, I don't know what the paint brushes. I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, it's a pokey thingy. So let's just, just make a pattern with this so that we mix those colours up. So we've got, a, look how much shaving foam we've got on there. Nothing too stressful, nothing too messy, unless you've got reinkers like me. Let's lift this up. Look, I can lift it up. It's all contained. Look how tiny amount I've used. Right, let's take our little stencil and let's take our little credit card and let's pick up a little bit. Look how much shaving foam. Probably... A little bit too much do you know so got the shaving foam and let's just add a little bit of the shaving foam so say I haven't got a little bit of purple pick up a little bit of purple 
add that just to your so I can pick a little bit up on my finger just to go down the feet so I can just pick up a little bit of the purple just to go down on the feet so you can then let go of that you don't have to worry where it's going what it's going to do just leave it there then you've got this little bit on here which you can then wipe let me just grab a scrap of card hopefully you can still see me no you can't let's move this up here you can then take this scrap of card i've got this on here and just scrape this down because you've got another background then so just scrape off the excess and if you're not happy with this color here say you want oh i want a little bit more purple pick up a little tiny bit like that and add a bit of purple you don't have to you can scrape off the excess just onto here like so let's let's clean my fingers because mine are not the best cleanest fingers and then if you pick your stencil up let me just grab my scissors i can just that's it so you've now got your bird just with the shaving foam now if i put my heat tool on Let me see if I can get it to work. Let's just move some of that mess. I like to try and work tidy if I can. What we're going to do is then just look at the shaving foam now, just so that you can see that. And let's just, don't worry about little bits that come outside the beard. It just adds to the effect. Just heat your shaving foam. some of the colour mainly because I'm using an oxide ink and because it's got that pigment element I'm just giving that a dry a lot of people don't but I do just personal choice because it's that's just me what I like to do then because you've got some colour on the surface because of that pigment then you've got a beautiful beard so just leave that there you've also got this beautiful background here let's just block that to make sure and look i'm not stressing about this shaving foam here that's not in a mess it's just on a little piece of card so then then you go hunting for your stencil and think where the heck is your stencil where did I put the stencil? There it is. Oh, for goodness sake. So what I'm going to do is just grab a wipe. Now, if you want, you could, have I got another spare piece of card? Just see if there's anything left on the stencil and you can just wipe the very, oh, hopefully you don't move it like I've just done. Just wipe the colour. There might not be anything on there. There might be. But you've then got another bird on there. That could be like in the background with some text on the foreground. But we've got this here. So let me just grab a piece of cut and dry foam. Not one of them. Why, when you're looking for brushes, do you never find the actual one that you want? You know that you've got one. There it is. Black. So, I've, you saw me just scrape this shaving foam wastage onto the background. So, take your stencil. Or, let's use a different stencil. Let's use the mouse. 
Take your mouse, for instance. Don't have to be the bird. Take your mouse. Take my Nocturne ink. What I'm trying to show you is that you don't have to have, you know, every product under the sun just to have ideas. So with the fine detail here, like the feet, just sort of sweep it away from you. Sweep that away. Just so that you don't sort of damage your stencil. Let's have a look. And then there you've got a snippet of an idea to take further. So you could add some text. You could even emboss that with clear embossing powder and you've got a snippet of an idea. Now, don't worry about your stencils. Let's grab some. Don't worry about your stencil. Take a little bit of hand sanitizer. And then you can wipe your stencil clean just with a little bit of hand sanitizer. I mean, I don't get too worried about it because at the end of the day, the stencils are meant to be used. If I'm not going to use them, there's no point me buying them. So that's my mouse. So what I've shown you is you've hardly made any mess. Obviously, you will dry that, but you could add a bit of text to this. You could add a circle around it and some colouring or one of the florals. But there you've got a shaving foam bird with the background and a mouse. I'm just trying to show you that there's nothing nothing complicated. I'm trying to really break down barriers about stamping, etc. So, let's take our hair so that you can see that. So, I've now got, have I got a clean? So, I've not got big sheets of anything out. Just clean your little credit card. I've got my hair. So, say I just want him in the corner there. So, if we pick this up, you can see I've got the shaving foam still on here. Let's pick up a little bit of the shaving foam. And then I'm just going to just add a little bit of shaving foam just to the background. Sit. And if you don't want to sort of add the shaving foam to every area, you can leave some white spaces. So there is our hair. How groovy is that? Just a simple idea. Add, have I got one of the florals here? Might not be the right colour, but hey ho. Let's take these two florals just so. I'm just giving you quick ideas of how you can use your product. Add one of the little florals at the top and you've instantly got a card. Add the Abutilon and you've instantly got a card. It doesn't have to be complicated ideas or, let's just put this on the floor, cut out this hair and add it to the background and you've already got another idea. So it just works beautifully. So let's move that out of the way. We'll give that a dry in a moment. Let's grab one of the scraps of card. So take your scrap of card and you've got all this on here now. So just, and look at that lovely pastel background. How wonderful is that? So what you could do is you can put, so let's grab another scrap of card. Let's take the shaving foam and let's wipe that onto the hair. Now this could just be in the background. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be a focal image. It can just be in the background. So then you've got 
this you can then do exactly the same as I did with the mouse in black and add the hair on the top in black another card idea so let's just dry I've dried that one let's just dry this one and each time you pick up you pick up a different bit now can you see where the shaving foam is a little thicker I'll show it you you do get a few bubbles which is also interesting as well let's just so when the shaving foam is a little bit thicker I don't like to add it too thick let's just point this down but this is the same shaving foam and look at the difference in colours same shaving foam and where it was a bit thicker it just bubbles a little bit and the camera's like no chance but just beautiful absolutely gorgeous just snippets of ideas then please tell me i've got another four by six inch piece of card so then you've got this uh what's this called shaving foam just spin it around a little bit let's just clean off our tool that's not meant for what i'm doing at all but hey ho let me just put the lid on that so and let's do the traditional <laughs> shaving foam i've lost the piece of card now and just i'm losing everything plonk that down on the traditional shaving foam effect let's just lift that up like so now, I, even just on that small piece of card, I've got all this shaving foam that I could still do something with. And I've, you know, I've hardly touched the surface. So. Let's pick my ruler up and hope that we've got some pattern on there. I always can't decide which way I want it there you go you've then got another background I just put this extra shaving foam either back on a piece of card and add more inks or I just fold it up and bin what's left but obviously you wouldn't you would keep creating backgrounds and it's so easily cleaned up no mess just from a little bit of shaving foam so that has given me a little bit of a, a background so again just give that a little bit of a, a dry smells lovely as well And then I can turn round and have this as my background. Let's just a uh, little bit of kitchen roll. And this is how ideas are born. You can just, just make sure there's none of that just sitting on the surface, which there isn't. Who shall we have now? Oh, we've had them all, haven't we? Hair and everything. So let's take the beard again and we'll just add the little beard and our black ink again. Just my Nocturne ink, you can use your Distress ink, you can use paint, whatever you want. And I'm just going to, just in the fine areas, I'm sort of brushing, oh, I'm sort of brushing the colour away from me and then I can blend. Just blend that colour. So just keep blending the colour. There we go. And what I want to show you now is... 
I'm actually quick enough, I, don't, I might not need to use any hand sanitizer because most of it will come off. But if it doesn't, I can just use hand sanitizer and clear that. But most of that will come off. There we go. But what I want to show you is, if you look closely, look how you can see the shaving foam. Let's do the teacher pointy tool. Still through the Nocturne ink. You can still see that through the Nocturne ink just lovely so i've shown you a couple of little snippet ideas with the stencils and you know there's going to be lots more ideas you know from the cards that i've shown you that even with the workshop there are lots of ideas in how to use our product let me just grab my iPad now just to show you the website. See, I already love that beard on that shaving foam background. I'm going to do something with that. So let me just find my website. I've got that many windows open. So if you go to my website, Tracy Evans Boutique Designs, you'll see there's the home page. And on the home page on Friday at Friday at five o'clock, you will see that the new release will be on there. This is a recent workshop that is back to black. That is a lovely workshop. Back to black, and you will see the bundles on here. This is the release that I had out previously that will still be on there. And you will see that on the pet on the front page, the home page. If you prefer not to use the home page, you can go to all products where you can see I've got ink pads like Nocturne and Morning Mist and the new Ink Air Distress colour. You can see bundles, workshops. You can then go to the stamps if you wish and you can buy them singly and the others will be there tomorrow. So you can see why I've added more products. I haven't got too much product on there. So if I go to the home um, and I go... I haven't got too much product, so this is why I've added a little bit more. But also, if you go to the gallery, you will see some ideas with the stamps. I've got to update this gallery more, obviously with the new release ideas, and also with some more of the videos. And you'll see there's a link to the YouTube tutorial. So I will be continuing to do that. But obviously all these things take time. But if you have any questions, anything at all, feel free to email me, message me, whatever. But if you could share this video, that would be truly appreciated. So a few snippets of ideas. Look at the shaving foam through the black there. Snippets of ideas just with a little bit of shaving foam that you can develop into ideas of your own. So I hope you enjoy all the new stamps just so that you can see them. I love packing your orders. I pack them all with love and I just feel so chuffed each time I pack one, I know it sounds really sad, but I actually stroke the stamps. But just to bring in the stamped images, just so that you can see those. The release is 5pm, Friday, the 1st of March. At 5pm, those products will be live on my website for you to purchase. And I think I've mentioned everything. If there's anything I've forgotten, please feel free to message me. Love to all and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now.